West Haven is preparing for the worst this hurricane season. Top city officials held a storm preparedness exercise this morning. News 8's Ken Pierce tells us what the Shoreline City is doing to get ready for a major storm. They're planning what to do if a hurricane is headed for West Haven. We're not stopping a hurricane. We're preparing for it and making sure that we've got all our ducks in a row, make sure that our team is uh, is on point. After years of running emergency operations in New Haven, Rick Fontana has come home to West Haven, where the more than three miles of shoreline can be a problem in a storm. Not a lot we can do for storm surge, but if we if we do the right evacuations and we communicate with folks, tell them what's the best thing to do uh, to keep them and their family safe. Warming oceans provide more fuel than ever for tropical storm systems. Experts predict as many as 25 named storms this year. Fontana gathered top responders from police and fire to health and the power company to talk about how to prepare. West Haven already elevated Beach Street to make it less prone to flooding during storms. Next, it is turning its attention to underpasses prone to dangerous flooding where cars often get stuck. In the next few months, the city is actually going to install gates at those problem underpasses, starting with this one right here on Campbell Avenue. The fire department or the police department can close those gates blocking off the street, and there'll be signs on them that say danger flooding. Being prepared is a partnership. We do all that we can as a city. And uh, we make sure our infrastructure and our plans are in place, but we have to make sure we inform our residents about what those preparedness guidelines are. Which means the two priorities here are communicating between the agencies in this room and communicating with the public. In West Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.